Hey, what's up again, everybody? So, uh, like I mentioned um, in the review I did, I said I wasn't going to do an articulation uh, video, but then after a few people messaged me and asked me um, uh, in the groups and uh, publicly in the groups to do one because they wanted to see it uh, in 4K, which is um, not a problem. So, I figured I'd, I would uh, put that up for you guys to check it out. So. Your articulation for this beast, man, is, uh, <laughs> it's almost like you need two people to articulate this thing, um, sometimes, but it's, uh, it's honestly, honestly not that bad, but, you know, like I'll, uh, like I'll show you, um, I'm gonna walk into the scene here, and we'll do the arms first, um, obviously these articulate right here, they come out like that, and then they go back in. Uh, the head, you've got some movement up and down, but not a lot. Uh, you can go all the way to that side, all the way to that side, as far as rotating the neck, and that's about it. Um, the arms will go up. I would, yeah, you don't have to widen these out when you raise the arms up, but yeah, as a precaution, why not? Uh, they go up just about fully laterally. Um, I'd probably really keep it there, honestly. This is probably safer because you start to hit the paint up on the shoulders when you do this. Um, as long as you're not too rough with it about propping all the way up really hard, you're, you're probably not going to damage the paint on the shoulders. Uh, so just be careful with that. Um, let's go right back in like that. I'll probably do that maybe too as well. Space them out just a little bit when you're raising the arm up. Uh, you can do full 360 according to uh, the instructions, but what I find is that when you go full 360, you're going to have to pull the arm out just a little bit like I just did, because you're going to hit this uh, this chest piece of the armor. So, keep on going. Now, I'm not going to go all the way back, obviously, because um, it's just to save time, but it will go all the way. So, get an idea of that. Obviously the right arm does the same thing, so I'm not going to do the same thing over there. Um, as far as the front, you get a little bit of waist articulation. But you know what I'm going to do? We'll do it with the shoulders up. Alright, so you get a little bit of turn that way. I'm trying to turn it without actually turning the figure so you can see. Um, and you get a little bit, but again it's very, it's a big figure man. And you can turn in there, and you turn right there. So as you can see, there, there, there. You get a little bit of uh, abduction, but I'll show you that when we get to the side. And then, uh, so yeah, we'll do the sides, and I'll show you the uh, bending at the elbows, and some of the articulation of the hands as well. And then we'll keep on keep on trucking, right? All right, so here's the right side. I'm not going to do this on both sides because obviously what you can do with the one side, you're going to be able to do with the other. So you get a decent 90 degree bend. It's not 100%, uh, 90 degree flexion, but it's close enough. The hands and fingers are obviously articulated, which I kind of demonstrated in my review uh, earlier. So again, if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's in 4K as well. Um, you know, hands are decent. You know, for four fingers and make a decent fist and whatnot, you know. Um, I'm going to straighten that out. I'm going to raise this. Well, actually, before I do that, uh, you get some uh, articulation in the elbow here on this part of the armor. It rotates around a little bit. Just uh, be careful. Don't get too crazy. Because um, who knows how long uh, <laughs> before it'll break. You know what I mean? I mean, this is a wonderful piece of engineering by Hot Toys. Don't get me wrong, but I'm sure it's only going to take so much abuse. Um, you get some articulation here in the knee, if that's even coming up on the video. Uh, if it's not, don't worry, I'll do it again during the next segment. Um, this piece moves a little, as you can see. So that's for give you a little bit of leeway when you're going backwards and forwards. That's only about 30 degrees anyway. Uh, and you also get a little bit right here as well. I don't know, hopefully you're seeing that. It's not a lot, but it's enough for this to go forward 30 degrees and again, for this to go back 30 degrees, so that's about really what you get. Um, and uh, for the next part, we'll do the legs. 
Um, a lot of people think, I initially thought when I had this, that the knees are articulated, but they actually don't. It's just from the, from the, th from the thigh, or the hip rather, uh, that rotates back and it's just 30 degrees forward and back and I will show you that next. All right, for these beasts of, uh, of a set of legs. <laughs> so, before you bring this leg forward or back, obviously like I mentioned, make sure these are uh, already lifted up. So they're gonna be resting like that. You're gonna wanna pop them up like this. And you're gonna wanna make sure that's up. Oh man, I'm telling you, for this, you almost need two people, I'm telling you, to, uh, to articulate the friggin' legs. It's ridiculous because of how big this thing is. But anyway, I'll try to do this one. I'm not gonna ass over. There's how far the front leg can go. Um, hopefully this is coming in. These also articulate here as well. Bend it up. I think about that's about it. One, you get one ratchet sound. <laughs> so you get one click forward, and that's about it. So don't try to go down anymore. So again, you get one up, and I think one down. That's it. And uh, uh, that's it. <laughs> so again, you can move that down. And going back, that's about as far as it goes back. So again, make sure these are up. This right here, these will articulate down like that, and they go back up. So that's what you got as far as the legs. And you can hear it ratchet sound again. It actually articulates for you as you move that back. This will actually go forward for you, and this is what happens. That'll flex up. So you just got a perfect uh, example of that. And really, I think that's about it, guys, as far as articulation. So I'll we'll close out with some final thoughts, I guess. Okay, so that pretty much sums up the articulation. There's uh, a little bit of abduction in the, uh, in the torso. Like I showed you the side rotation from the torso, it's not a lot, and it's even less when it comes to the abduction. And it almost makes me wonder if, honestly, Hot Toys, that's kind of on accident because I don't think I saw it in the instruction booklet. So uh, I, don't, I don't think uh, that was actually intended. So it's probably just because of the looseness of the joint, um, really, to tell you the truth, so that's about it. Um, so um, I guess a, uh, one warning in the instruction booklet. Now I haven't had this problem. So in the instruction booklet, it tells you that you shouldn't articulate the figure, basically moving the legs and so on and so forth like I, I did with a full figure inside because you could damage the Hulk Buster or you could damage the figure itself um, that you're putting in there. I haven't had any problem. I've had no damage to the legs or anything like that. Uh, we all know that the Iron Man figures, the articulation on the, on the legs are actually pretty good. Uh, those same two hip joints though, that where those little leaf sections come up, I could possibly maybe see damage happening there, maybe them popping off or breaking, but honestly, I haven't had a problem. Um, I, I don't know if it's because the legs only go 30 degrees, uh, but I've taken the figure out over um, in and out probably three or four or five times already. Uh, honestly, probably more than that to tell you the truth. I'm, I, I'm being modest. Um, probably more like 10 times, and I haven't had any damage. I do have the black sleeves onto the legs, and I haven't had any issues, so... Just be careful though, because what's working for me may not work for someone else, uh, but for right now, I'm not having any issues articulating the figure with the, uh, with the Mark, and this is the Mark 45 too, so, um, and I have no issues. So, um, all right, that's it guys. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me, message me, uh, hit me on a comment or something like that, and I will, uh, I'll try to get back to you if I, if, if I get the time. All right, hope you enjoyed that demo. Deuces.